Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick. YGG Tay, Baltimore rapper. Hey, the latest news came out. Now, if you've been tapped in with the channel, I've got a few videos on him. And uh, people know even before I started my YouTube channel, I was a fan of the Baltimore rap scene. I was keeping up with it, just listening to the music before I started YouTube. Uh, YBS, Young Baller Shining, uh, rest in peace to Lord Scooter. And uh, I was fucking with YBS Scholar, you know, Shot Glizzy. I was tapping in with Shot Glizzy early. I seen him tap in with uh, Scooter, and that hit me to the Baltimore rap scene, and I noticed that they had a rap scene out there. So I eventually became a fan of YGG Tay. Well, I've been dropping these videos of everything going on where he was actually picked up and arrested by the feds a couple years ago where they said that he was moving a heavy, uh, detailed criminal organization and distributing cocaine to several gangs and groups in the Maryland area. Now, I want to be all the way honest with this shit. It seemed very tricky to me because they all he got caught was three and a half grams of heroin mixed with fentanyl. Then they said that he had eight grams of fentanyl in his vehicle. Also, when they searched his vehicle, he the uh, judge did grant the feds, uh, you know, a warrant to pull up and arrest him. And this is what happens at times, bro, where your image, your lifestyle will give them, the feds move real loose. We know this. They can move in these type of ways. So he decided to take it to trial. Now, I said before, when you go to trial, it's going to be very risky. Uh, he's even spoke on going to trial in his music before on the song Famous. I ain't going to lie. It's like he kind of was speaking up all this shit into existence before it happened. And one thing about me, that's really just the life of the streets that he was actually speaking on. But I'm a fan of YGG Tate. Famous, Off Day, War, a lot of other things he had. You know, they, they was doing this shit. He was really actually rapping. And growing, did a lot of music with YG Tech, was out there in LA recording and doing videos and all that shit. But this is how it happens, bro. Uh once, once the uh once you start going to court, they go make you look like a scumbag. That's what they role is. Now, I'll be honest with you, this is not a criminal organization case. This is a case that got put on his character. Well, now we see by his character, his presentation. They sentenced him to 15 years in prison at 27 years old. No bricks, no heavy details of what he was arrested with. They actually brought up a situation where they said he put a bounty on somebody for $20,000 who was possibly working with the feds and uh, an informant and everything like that. I didn't see any cemented details of any of this. They didn't say that this was cemented on any form of fashion. But once they put they, the hands in the jury and it's federal, man, you pretty much jammed up and fucked over. But they actually was trying to charge him with the gun and saying that the gun was in furtherance of his heavy, detailed, undercover criminal organization. They also arrested a friend of his, somebody he was associated with. They was watching this dude entire life and every move he made. But you don't see that in the court documents that, oh, we actually got him in the act of buying these drugs to do da, 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 da. He's associated with other drug dealers who were arrested. Casinos, they watching his moves at casinos, trying to say that this was a form of, of, of uh, money launder. But actually, he was at the casinos, and they come to find out he was just betting on the sports. Had nothing to do with a money laundering thing. So it get real tricky how they going to play you in court, bro, and how they going to make you see and now we see that he has 15 years. They even brought up the situation of him allegedly beefing with YBS and everything like that. They had like a little rap thing going back and forth. I'm fans of both of their music. I don't know anyone on uh, any side personally. They All that shit was online a little bit in little clips and YouTubers put shit together, things that they would put online and say. He actually came out and said there was no real beef. It was just some dumb shit that was going on and uh, I had, you know, we squashed that. It wasn't nothing like that at all. We squashed it. That's what he said. But they saying like they tried to bring that into it. They going to bring everything into the courtroom, bro. 
and it's fucked up. Dog was actually starting to get cosigns. I seen he had got a couple cosigns like Pusha T and them had pulled up. When well, he pulled up on Pusha T and them at one of their shows, Danny Garcia was kind of fucking with him. Had the image, had the style, but it went down bad. And then the most fucking craziest part about this shit, bro, his mother died from COVID while he was locked up, bro. His, his tea lady died, bro. She passed away. That's a fucked up situation to be in, bro. And uh, I hate to see this happen to any nigga coming up in the game. Uh, like I said, bro, three and a half grams of heroin and eight grams of fentanyl, 15 years for that. That's a criminal organization. That's the evidence that y'all presenting and everything like that. I don't really understand how that can lead to that because in the court of law, you can wiggle a lot of that. Hey, man, this is damn near like personal use or yeah, I might be low level, but y'all can't charge me with the level of like, I'm just out here supplying a whole motherfucking gang or group without the physical evidence. But the feds can do that when you affiliated with other people that got locked up and they gonna play dirty, bro. You ain't got the right lawyer. And it's so crazy because they said when Don went to, uh, to a sentence, nobody was in the courtroom with him. He actually was found guilty like August and I had missed that news. So I didn't really drop a video on that. But I was a fan of the music. Shout out to DMV Hoods and News. Uh, they be showing love. They put me on a lot of DMV shit. They be tapped into what I got going on. So it's always respect for DMV Hoods and News for how they didn't show me love on that note. And me being a fan of the DMV and uh, the Baltimore rap scene, everything like that. Shout out to my boy DJ Nick with the Marino Infantry out there too. Y'all make sure y'all fuck with DJ Nick. That's my God of Baltimore. He be doing this thing, man. I've been following him for years. Shout out to ASAP Ant. I've been following him for years. And them niggas out there in Baltimore, man. Y'all keep doing y'all shit. Shout out to YG Tech. No excuses. You keep going up in your rap shit. We got more shit coming, man. 1,000. Stay on your pivot for shit show.